In today's video, we're going to learn how to create WooCommerce coupons and make them effective. To get started, navigate to WooCommerce in the sidebar of your WordPress dashboard. From the menu, select coupons and then click add new. Let's start filling out the fields. The coupon code is what your customers will enter during the checkout to apply the discount. It can be anything you want. The description is not visible to customers, only to you. You can use this as you please. Next, you'll need to fill out the general data for your coupon. This information determines the most basic conditions of your discount, including the amount, how it's applied, and when it expires. The discount type determines if the coupon applies to a customer's entire cart or just one item. It also indicates if the discount is a fixed amount or a percentage of the original subtotal for the cart. For example, a fixed product discount with a coupon amount of 20 would offer $20 off one item. In contrast, a percentage discount of 20 would offer 20% off the customer's entire cart. You can select whether or not you wish to offer customers free shipping for this discount, and you can also set an expiration date for your coupon here too. Next, you'll need to set usage restrictions for your coupon. These conditions will determine who can add this discount to their cart. The first fields indicate minimum and maximum subtotals customers will have to reach before they can apply this coupon. The individual use only and exclude sale items conditions prevent customers from using more than one coupon per purchase and from using coupons on already discounted items respectively. You can also prevent customers from using the coupon on certain products or products in certain categories. Finally, if you wish, you can add a set list of customers who can use the coupon. To do this, add the email addresses of the customers you wish to permit in the last usage restrictions field. The usage limit per coupon defines how many times a coupon can be applied by any customer. This field is helpful for coupons directed to the first 100 customers to subscribe to your email list, for example. You can also limit the number of items a customer can apply the coupon to and how many times a customer can use this specific coupon. All these conditions are extremely important as it's not usually desirable to give your customers unlimited discounts. Once your coupon's ready, you need to make your customers aware of the discount. Social media posts and email blasts are tried and true methods for reaching customers. However, this tends to only be those who already follow you in some way. As an alternative, consider offering coupons to customers who have abandoned their carts. This can help bring them back to your site to complete their purchase, earning you a sale you might have otherwise missed out on. Finally, however you choose to promote your coupons, highlighting details such as expiration dates and usage limits is important. This creates a sense of urgency around your discounts and people are more likely to act quickly in these situations so as not to miss out. Now that you know how to make coupons and share them, be sure you don't over discount your products by releasing too many coupons. A discount schedule can help you keep track of all the coupons that you're offering. Highly specific conditions also prevent customers from accessing unregulated discounts. At this point, you're a coupon professional and ready to increase your sales. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.